Good morning, guys, and happy Wednesday. So, I have a test today that I'm going to be taking at 9 o'clock. Um, it's right now it's 8. I've been up since 7. Um, so, yeah, so we're going to take a test at 9. And then my class usually ends right after that. So, I'm going to do some homework and stuff that I haven't done this week because I've been studying for that test. And so, now I need to make me a breakfast. So, I'm going to use some of the new things that I got, obviously, out of my grocery haul. So, let me show you what I'm going to get and how this breakfast is five points. Alrighty, so here's my the beginning of my five-point breakfast. I had some of these hash browns. A half cup is one point, so I wanted to put it inside of my griddle maker and make it like a hard circle. The problem was, was I didn't put in there enough, so it wasn't touching both sides, so I had to flip it multiple times, but it was still good. So I'm also going to take um, one tablespoon of this Weight Watchers cream cheese, which is one point, and one of those bagels for three points. And that should be a good little breakfast with a little bit of everything but bagel seasoning on the bagel. So watch me make it. Right here, I started making my coffee. Originally, I had talked through the video, but the video was getting too long um, for me just to leave it like that. So I'm pouring a little bit of Starbucks uh, cold brew in there and a little bit of unsweetened almond milk. And we're gonna put two Splenda and it's a perfect coffee. Alright, right here so I also use some of the sugar free juice, juice, juice ketchup, ketchup which is zero I points for the amount I use because I used like barely any of it. And um, put it on my hash brown. So, yeah, it was really good. You can see it was not coming out of the stinking bottle. Um, so, I had to scoop it out. But, yeah, it was really good. Alright, so I'm showing this because this was Tyler's lunch I prepped him. This definitely could be Weight Watchers friendly. So this is a one point tortilla and I put on a little bit of Miracle Whip, which if you were doing this Weight Watchers friendly, you could put on some mustard. I'm going to put on a little ranch seasoning. And then I have two blackened chicken strips that I'm going to throw in the middle of it. Some lettuce and his cheese isn't Weight Watcher friendly cheese or it could be depending on how much you use. But you could use fat free mozzarella cheese and make a good like one point to two point wrap so honestly that's probably what i'm gonna make me for lunch today because it's sounding really good right now So right here, I'm also showing what I made Tyler for breakfast. So I put him some hash browns in there and I'm making him a hash brown waffle sandwich. You could also make this Weight Watchers friendly um, if you use different type of sausage meat, but honestly, it could be Weight Watchers friendly. I'm not sure how many points this would be, but I use sugar-free syrup. So I know that those turkey, I'm not sure how many points of turkey sa those sausages are, but I know the waffles are five points because I got a different brand this time and one point for the hash brown, that's six points. So probably this is about a seven to eight point breakfast sandwich. But honestly, that is Weight Watchers friendly because you can always work around anything in your diet.
kind of um, was going back and forth with things. So this is the watermelon that I also put Tyler and put in his um, lunch because I wanted to make sure he ate it. Honestly, at this point, I, I know he ate his food, but I don't know if he ate the watermelon or if he fed it to the dog. But anyway, so I cut up some watermelon for him because I'm really trying to get him to get his fruits and veggies in because he doesn't really eat much. So I've been meal prepping his food. But anyway, I just wanted to show y'all what it looked like and how his lunch looked like um, in case you were interested. All right, I'm sorry about showing so many food things like right after another, but that's exactly what I did was just do a bunch of food things right after another. So I was making me a little snack pack that I actually ended up not eating. So it was like a tablespoon of peanut butter um, with some of these rice crackers. So I believe it's like a four point um, snack pack, but I'm sure it was really good because that peanut butter is so good. All right, last thing I'm showing before, before I think I show my face again. So I'm making some crock pot um, barbecue chicken. I'm throwing some ranch seasoning, um, some G Foods barbecue sauce. I found the chicken at zero points because it's not like I ate a lot of it with that barbecue sauce. And I'm putting a little bit of water, set it on low for like six hours. And yeah, it turned out really good. And I'll show you what it looks like when we plate it up. Alrighty guys, so y'all just saw a bunch of different parts of videos and um a but or not parts of videos but a bunch of different like food things because i showed y'all my lunch my um egg bagel breakfast um i showed y'all's tyler's breakfast that i made him and his lunch because both of those could be weight watcher friendly um i also just showed y'all what i threw in my crock pot because i asked tyler what he wanted for dinner and he said he wanted barbecue baked potatoes so i threw in two frozen chicken breasts and some of that, y'all saw, I poured some of that um, G Hughes barbecue sauce and I put a little bit of water at the bottom um, because I don't want the chicken to stick, so I put water around it. And it's like probably like a little bit of a centimeter of water. I know the juice is gonna release some, but it's gonna be fine when put on the baked potatoes. So that's gonna cook on low um, until probably around 6.30. It'll be good. I seasoned it with ranch and barbecue sauce, so y'all saw that. And yeah, so there's going to be a lot of little pieces. Y'all saw a snack I made, which I'm not even taking to work because I forgot I had. Because I'm not even hungry, but I ate my sushi now. That this little eight pieces of sushi. I went ahead and ate that because um, I don't want to eat seafood at work for some reason. I just don't. That makes me feel weird. But I'll, if I get hungry, then I'll eat my corn, which I probably will later on. I'm going to eat. I have watermelon, a sugar-free jello, and some corn that I can eat at work. If I get hungry, so I'm not even gonna snake take that snack thing that I packed, but I can always eat that tomorrow or when I get home tonight, maybe before bed, that could be my sweet treat. But I already calculated it for the day. Mm, it's a five point snack, but yeah, I'm trying to figure out how to shut that box. But anyway, that's how the day is going. Um, I passed my test, guys. I made an 82, which is extremely good for being in nursing school. Well, for me, I say it's extremely good because those tests are extremely hard. So Every night before a test, I take stress, oh, um, I can't remember the brand, but stress relief, um, chewy tabs, and focus chewy tabs. And then this morning before my test, I took focus chewy tabs. Um, yeah, and so I relax. I try not to study too late, which I didn't. didn't. And I definitely could have studied more for this test, but you know, it, it is what it is. And I, I passed it, thank you God. Um, yeah, so I'm going to be finishing out maternal. I've passed both of my tests in this class. I have a final left, and the final um, is, is made by something different, so it, it doesn't count as hard on our grade as these other two tests I just took are. So yeah, I'm extremely excited. I'm going to be starting pediatrics next. Um, yeah, I just want to give you all a little bit of that info. I'm in a really good mood today. I feel great this morning. I looked at the positives and that's where I'm at. So it's definitely working for me and I hope it works for you too. So I'll see y'all when I get off. All right, time. guys, it's only been a couple seconds for me, but it's been, I mean, JK, it's only been a couple seconds for y'all, but it's been a couple hours for me. Um, it is time for dinner. I just got home from work, got off on a good time. Um, I made some barbecue chicken. I have a visitor. <laughs> I made barbecue chicken in the crock pot. Y'all saw that. I put in a little bit extra water because we're putting these into baked potatoes and we want it to be a little bit more juicy um, so it can get the potato a little juicy. Plus, 
I mean, I might count the chicken as any points because I didn't, I put barbecue sauce, but it's not like I'm eating this whole thing and I wouldn't say I put a lot in there anyway. So, I'm sorry, it's really good. So I'm just eating the potato, I mean the small potato, three point potato, I already weighed it this morning. Well, Tyler put a bunch of them in there, so I'm gonna wait again, but. Um, so yeah, we're gonna do that and then we're gonna have movie night. So I passed my test day, we're gonna celebrate, we're gonna watch some movies together. Um, and have like, you know, just spend time together. Have some fun. I'm probably gonna watch some action movies because he loves watching action movies. I like romance movies. But, um, we're gonna do that, and then we usually be use, we eat kettle, kettle corn popcorn, but if you didn't know, bless you, a lot of kettle corn, he's coming and eating out of the thing. A lot of kettle corn popcorn is good in points, so I'll kind of take that and put some M&Ms on top, so we'll have a good dessert after we eat. But anyway, I just wanna let you know, I'll show y'all what this looks like, and I'll show you what my plate looks like all plated up. Since I opened this container and he's been home, he could have eaten it. But he's sticking his fingers in there and eating it. It is good. I've done it too. It's really good. And you see how it's juicier? Um, I put a little bit of water in there. First of all, I didn't want the chicken to stick. But secondly, it makes it more juicy. If you're putting it on a baked potato. Um, because it'll soak into the actual potato. You know what I'm saying? But anyway, okay, this is what it looks like. I'll show you when we're all putting it little treat to myself. I'm not gonna count this. I'm just gonna eat a little bit of it. It's so good. I mean, even if I eat a tablespoon, I'm not gonna count it because it's my treat. Both of them are so good. Cookie batter, yummy. I like the um, double stuff a little better, but I like them both, so I'll eat them both, you know? But yeah, I'm gonna eat about a tablespoon of it. Just because. Yeah, but anyway, just want to let you know. keep watching our Grey's Anatomy. We're on season 16, episode four. So it's date night. We're having baked potatoes because that's what Tyler requested. So look at his yummy baked potatoes, guys. Y'all saw me make his dinner first. I videoed it. Show, them, show the camera. Look at that. I've been making him eat more. He needs to gain weight. What do y'all think? No, I'm just kidding.